Hello, my name is Lewis. I'm a technician here with QTS and today I'm going to show you how to set up a two jumper reference using the Fluke DTX 1800s. Uh, first thing first, we want to make sure that we have our adapters set up here. We want to make sure that we have single mode for single mode, multi mode for multi mode adapters. Next thing we want to check is to make sure that we have our testers set to test for uh, fiber and right now you, as you can see we have OS1 single mode. Uh, if we have to change between copper and fiber we're going to use our F1 change media button and scroll up to twisted pair to test for copper fiber loss to test for fiber which is what we want to do here and hit enter. Next thing we want to do is go into our setup uh, again, we're going to test on fiber loss because we do not have an OTDR adapter for that function. So fiber loss, hit enter, and check sh make sure that everything on this screen is set accurately. We have our test limit set to 568C single mode inside plant because we're testing inside plant cable. Uh, if we were testing a indoor-outdoor cable, we may change the settings to an indoor-outdoor setting or an outdoor cable plant if we have uh, outdoor cables that we need to test. Uh, other things that we want to see here are OS1 single mode for our fiber type and here we can also change our settings for generic and we have OS2 single mode uh, if we were testing multi-mode we can change those parameters scrolling up and down if we had our multi-mode uh, adapter and of course uh, right now we want to leave it for OS1. Our remote end setup is always going to be set to a smart remote which is the other, other end of our uh, testing unit and our bi-directional test is to test from both ends of the cable so it's running two tests at the same time simultaneously. Uh, other things in this setup that you want to check for are under tab 2 which we can access by scrolling over and the number of adapters that we have here and uh, this comes into play when we're testing through multiple patch panels that we have more than one adapter that we're testing through uh, this would allow the unit to not confuse the data as it comes back to the, to the tester number of splices if you have splices in the uh, section of cable that you're testing you want to also input this uh, number into the unit so that, again so it can compensate for the amount of loss of, of the splice connector type is going to be set to SC uh, majority of the time on these connectors we only have SC inputs uh, we can change the bulkhead to an LC uh, on our input here but we, right now we're going to leave it to SC and our test method is the other crucial point of the setup here uh, we're using two jumpers one jumper here and the other one here and we're going to mate these together to make two jumper reference you are also able to set a reference just using one cable and connecting that head unit here over to our remote. So what we're going to do next now that that is set and this is exactly how we want to see our uh, tester set up. So next thing we want to do is go swap over one more time to special functions and we're going to set our reference. In here you will see different uh, settings for link interface adapter which we're not using and our fiber module which we are hit enter and it will give you a diagram on how to set up. You have your input going over over into your input on the other side and your output again going to your output on the other side. So now we're going to take these cables and couple them together and establish a link. If you connect them and they do not sync up immediately, just simply swap around the cables on the unit.
there you go and now we have a link to each other and then we're gonna hit the test button and test for our reference okay and as you can see here on the screen we have our reference set for 1310 and 1550 at a negative 6 0.89 dBm and output is negative 7.17 dBm. Again, dBm being optical power, not insertion loss. So once we have our reference set, we're going to disconnect from our coupler. Put this to the side. And if we ever disconnect using a one jumper reference, never disconnect from the source side and same thing with the corning light meter you never want to disconnect the cable from the source always from the meter side so now we are set to test and we're going to use our little simulation box to test but first we want to make sure we go back to auto test here and now we are set Okay, so now we're ready to test and we plugged up into our port here on panel B and we're going to take our t remote side and we're going to plug into panel E here on our test box and once we connect we should get a link, there we go, and once we have our link we know that both uh, transmitter and receive are talking to each other, we're going to hit our test button to begin our test. Okay, our bi-directional test has completed in one direction and so now it's going to re reverse the test and test from the other opposite direction. Okay, we actually have a negative loss found in the test result. If you ever get this message, it's uh, not a bad thing. It just means that as the test went on, the connection got better. So uh, we're going to take a look at the results here. On our input fiber, we see that our loss has checked off good. And the direction being that the light is traveling from our remote here back to the main is good. And if we hit enter, we can see the actual loss which is 0 0.12 dB. Our limit is given at 1.50 dB and our margin of error is 1.38 dB. So this is a very good connection and as far as light passing through the connector is concerned. Again other information that we're going to see here our loss going in the other direction leaving our main unit going to our remote unit and if we look at that connection, we have a negative 0 0.83 dB loss. And our limit, again, is 1.50 dB. And our margin of error is 2.33 dB. Now, as you can see, that the loss between 1310 and 1550 got better. And this is something that you generally want to see when testing fiber optics is testing at 1310 and 1550 you want to see a drop in DB as there's more power increasing through the connector but the performance should be that much better so this is definitely showing an increase in light passing through the connector which is exactly what we want to see. Uh, other information you can see here is the length of the run uh, this is a small patch in between two panels so obviously we only have four feet to test here but uh, we have good readings overall this is how you test and set a two jumper reference using the Fluke DTX 1800